Welcome back, everybody. We're getting cheesy on today's show with the Machine Shed. They do a lot of great recipes with cheese. And today, uh, Aaron's going to show us how to make their uh, cheese fondue, which is something that's very popular on the appetizer menu. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's one of our most popular appetizers since we put it on about a year and a half ago. People are, you know, fondue is back big yes, it time. Is. It really is. People love fondue, and I don't think it's, I don't think that trend is going away anytime Not soon. Not anytime soon, no. And what I have here so far is I already sauteed my thyme, my basil, my garlic, and a little bit of butter. Okay. And I added my heavy cream to, you know, make it so we go a little quicker here. Okay. And what we want to do is add our beef. So this fish. is like to, to give this, uh, this the fondue some great flavor. Um, yes. A little bit of beef, beef base. Beef base. Beef yep. soup base. Which you beef can, soup base. Which you can find right kind of near the in the soup aisle near the bouillon cubes. It's kind of kicked up. You know, we grew up with bouillon cubes and right. granules. Well, those those are kind of they're out there, but we've gone way beyond that, and they have a lot of better, you know, better products out there to, to the help add The bases are, are a little better, a little yeah. easier to work yeah. with. Mm -hmm. Which is, and if you can get pork base, which is a harder thing to find, that actually works just as well. Okay, I bet at the restaurant you make this in a, a very large batch. Very large batch. This is still kind of a large batch, but this is why you want to invite all your friends over. And the nice thing about this recipe, you say you can do it's versatile. You can do other things with yes, it too. Yes, this first rest, this first part. Once you roux this, you can use this for. Toppings of steak, chicken, pork. It's what we call our garlic herb sauce. Okay. Great and over pasta, potatoes, over pasta, whatever. Anything like that. Yeah. What we got to do is we got to let it get to that 165 to 185. So that might take us one more That's second. That's okay. You brought along a couple other goodies from the Sheen Shed. Um, the cinnamon roll, I lit up when I saw this. I'm a huge fan of cinnamon rolls. It, it's ginormous. Um, yes. You bake these fresh? Every day. Every day. Yep, hand roll them, made fresh every morning. Does anybody finish that puppy? Yes, and actually some people have breakfast after that. Oh my gosh, and it's got the frosting. What kind of frosting is it's that? It's a buttercream frosting oh. made, from, made from scratch, of oh course. Oh my goodness gracious, that is huge. And th that's the thing that makes your place so special is you do a lot of special things like that. I know um, you do special breads that come with your meal. Yep, we make our own bread every day and our sweet breads, which could be apple sauce, pumpkin, banana, or whatever kind of fruit we have left over we can throw in there. Very it's a very cool. versatile bread. And and then pies, of course, save room for dessert. Yes, we can make over 20 pies, but we only usually rotate five on our menu. And this is cherry, we have apple, Snickers is which probably our most popular, Ooh. Uh, banana, cream and chocolate cream. Yum. So that's, um, you know, a lot of restaurants don't make their own desserts. So, nope. And you guys do. So, all right. So again, we started with some butter, some thyme, uh, garlic, garlic, black pepper, and heavy cream. We're heating yep. that. A little bit of base. And we're right at there. I think it'll work. The key with, you don't want it to come to rapid boil. You always want to kind of just be boiling around the edges okay. a little bit. Because if you get it too hot, then you get those little root chunks in okay. it. And who likes root no. chunks? We want it smooth fondue. And then we're going to add our our roux, which is simply margarine and flour cooked together, then you, after it melt, after it cooks, you want to cook it for a little bit because then it cooks out the flour okay. taste. And it's just going to take, hopefully through the magic of television, it'll come together. And I, I notice a little beer in that. Um, you know, it just yes. adds some flavor. It yes, it adds just a little. And you want a brown ale. We got a Scottish ale here. So you want Newcastle or what we're using today is Scottish. It's just starting to thicken. And of course we're gonna add cheese so we don't have to get it real thick. Looks like quite a bit of cheese. Um, you guys open all weekend for Memorial Day. Well, I know there's a lot of are. traveling going on. People are gonna be, you know, driving past Driving you guys. through, just yeah. come on in, have breakfast. Breakfast, with us. lunch, or dinner. Yes, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We open six every day except for on Sunday we wait till seven because people tend not to get up so early. We'll start adding our cheese now. We just want to add handfuls at a time. Okay. This is a, a, a shredded cheddar. A shredded cheddar, yep. I can help you out with that. Love your baked potato soup. Yes. Is that always on the menu? That's always on the menu. And when Ooh. it gets cold, well, it's not for a long time, hopefully, I'll actually come in and we'll make it together. That would be wonderful. But we want it to be a little colder. There you go. You can add a little more. I'm going to add about eight ounces of a brown. This is of where course, the that's, comes in. that saves a little bit for the crew. <laughs> we'll just stir that up if you want to add a little more cheese. Uh -huh. So it's very simple, not a lot of ingredients. No, not a lot of ingredients. See, it's now just starting to thicken. Well, it's, oh, it's almost there. We want to add a little bit of crushed red pepper to give it some zing. Okay. And at the very last, you want to add cream cheese oh. to make it that nice smooth. And the key is it's done is when the cream cheese has all been dissolved. Okay. So we're going to just stir that right up. Oh, and of course, this color. makes... 
a very big pot. Yes. If you like to throw those pretzel sticks in, you betcha. We so bake those for a minute or two in the oven just to brown them up a little bit. And so we this got is what you serve the fondue with. Yes. These yummy pretzel sticks. Pretzels and cheese. Pretzel and, then, and cheese. Um, is this recipe from the book here? No, I just brought it because it's with the light touch. I just kind of brought one of our cooks, well, cookbooks. We have several, several of them. And that's the cool thing at the machine shed. Um, while you're waiting for your table, or maybe uh, while you're waiting for your food, or after you eat, they've got a really cool gift store. Um, my kids used to always love hanging out there uh, with all sorts of neat cookbooks and um, mugs and candies. It's just stuff for the kids. Yeah, old old time candy. It's really a cool place to stop in. So this yep. is one of their cookbooks. It's comfort food with a light Reach touch. Over. So very cool. We just get ourselves a nice little big old yep. ladle for it. Ooh. And of course you could add a little more cheese if you like a lot of cheese, a little less cheese. The recipe is very versatile. We start with that and the breadsticks for a dipping sauce. Oh my gosh. Chef, thank you so much for mm -hmm. coming. And if you are interested in getting some of their fantastic cheese beer fondue, just stop on into the machine shed. Always on the menu for lunch and dinner, right? Yes. The appetizer. Oh yes. And even for breakfast, if you really ask me, we could probably make it for you. <laughs> and it's always better when the chef makes it. I agree. And then, of course, save room for uh, dessert. Get some pie or start your morning with one of those giant And we rolls. actually top it with a little bit of bacon. Oh! you got to have that smoky oh, bacon. Oh, yeah. And now we're Wisconsin talking. Bacon. Oh, my gosh. I could tell that was seriously good bacon, too. Yes. Oh, that looks so good. Ooh, yum. Can hardly wait to dive in. Coming up, some more great recipes with cheese, including a great mac and cheese recipe, perfect for the weekend, and later, buffalo shrimp with a blue cheese dip. So stay with us. We'll be back. Thank you, Chef. Thank you.